Hello, my name is Matthew Lopez and my presentation is Adapting Tennessee Williams Short Fiction for the Stage and Future Plans for Participatory Action Research. I was awarded a travel fund, uh, travel grant, by the Undergraduate Research Scholarship and Creativity Office at UNCG and the UNCG School of Theater. The grant was to award me to go to the Tennessee Williams Institute in Provincetown, Massachusetts, in conjunction with the Tennessee Williams Festival. At the festival, we were exposed via lecture and performances to adaptation of Tennessee Williams and Yukio Mishima's plays from artists around the world. The different artists that came in uh, had many different takes on both Williams and Yukio Mishima's works, adapting it in different styles, ranging from uh, the uh, more abstract versions of contemporary realism to even more Eastern uh, Asian styles of theater that date back thousands of years from Kabuki and No, and even a blend of Western No. We got to then see performances of different plays by Tennessee Williams and Yukio Mishima, uh, ad adapted by different artists from around the world who come to uh, Provincetown, Massachusetts for one week in September to showcase their work and engage in academic discussion about their work and how Tennessee Williams plays continue to influence the theatrical landscape and how modern adaptations and reimaginings of his works continue to educate the greater theater culture and world culture at large. What really interested me uh, to go to this uh, festival is I have begun reading Tennessee Williams' short stories. Tennessee Williams' short stories are really important to me, uh, to my understanding of Tennessee Williams' plays. As a uh, hopeful playwright, I hope to have a career as a playwright, I uh, discovered that Tennessee Williams' plays were largely based on short stories he had published years before the plays were uh, performed. So the short stories were kind of a trial run for the characters and the themes he would later explore in drama with actors on a stage. So I was reading through his completed works and trying to pick out short stories that I would want to adapt after I got back from the Provincetown Tennessee Williams Festival and been exposed to all these different kinds of theater from artists from around the world, all geared towards Williams' work. Um, I looked at his most famous play, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and the short story, Three Players of a Summer Game. Three Players of a Summer Game is about a young girl who's recently lost her father and her mother and them coping um, with the various life changes that come with loss and the loss of some of the, uh, the kind of the breadwinner of the house, the the, uh, the paternal structure. And a new man that comes in, Brick Pollitt, the main character of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Well, this short story came before Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, so I started analyzing how William's short story would later influence the play, and I discovered that the perspective of the children and their discovery of the adult world was worth mining and writing a play about. So I began to write my own adaptation of Three Players of the Summer's Game, uh, a short uh, uh, play, takes about an hour, um, called Sunday Crosses Meridian. And the reason for the title is that it takes place on a Sunday afternoon and it paints a nostalgic look at uh, a, a Sunday afternoon in a Christian town, uh, Meridian, Mississippi, and kind of the events that take place after church. So I began rehearsing this play with a few actors and uh, we were, uh, we rehearsed for about two weeks and we were going to perform the play outside. We were going to actually have croquet. Uh, I have a croquet set and I taught them all to play croquet and we were going to play the game of croquet and we were going to perform the play and the audience, uh, we were going to have a, a small audience of theater students and they were going to watch the play and then they would uh, be allowed to give feedback to the play. Now this part, participatory action research, comes from my second major in anthropology and my studies there. Participatory action research is where your research subjects, people who you are using for research, are not being used. They're not just subjects, they get to be participants. So we were going to have uh, audience members watch the play, and instead of getting feedback of their opinions on the play, they were going to 
talk about scenarios or scenes that they wanted to see, and then they would see the play again with those new scenes and scenarios added. Well, because of the COVID-19 closure, the uh, scheduled performance date for late March was canceled. So I contacted my ERSCO peers and I asked them how they would feel about uh, reading the play, uh, understanding the game of croquet through various diagrams and stage descriptions, and uh, them give me their feedback about how I've interpreted the themes that I learned from the lectures and performances at the Tennessee Williams Institute and how my adaptation is truthful to Williams style and is advancing the art form of theater uh, in a collaborative way. For instance, uh, no plays move from left to right and there's very performative aspects to them and things only happen in no plays when objects on stage move that necessitate the action. Um, whether it be a character needing to pick something up or go move this here to there. Um, and so croquet, a sport, fits perfectly with that. So I learned a lot from my ERSCO group about where I was meeting Williams' style, where I was coming short, and um, all the various things in between uh, of no theater and just different kinds of theater that I was trying to blend up in this play. So then I, I consulted a UNC uh, G alumna and a playwright consultant. Her job is to consult playwrights on their work. And she read my play and the short story. And we talked about uh, the, the play and all the possibilities that could come. And we came to the conclusion that for further participatory action research, I needed to work with children and get their views on how they are viewing themselves being portrayed on stage and their curiosities about the adult world, which is the main thrust of the play, is how do children understand or learn how to understand, begin the infancy of understanding the adult world, but through their child eyes, not to say that they don't understand, but how they imitate adults uh, rightly or falsely and the learning curves that come associated with that. Uh, through my experience doing the uh, children's tour at UNCG and doing other children's plays at UNCG, uh, I find that education for children and how children are reflected back to themselves is almost just as important as educating them on the adult world to come. So those are my plans for future collaboration uh, once COVID blows over. And that was, uh, this is the, uh, this poster am I talking about now is the synthesis of my journey um, with this project and where I plan to take it forward. Uh, thank you very much.